What's up guys, it's been such a long time since we've done any kind of update, we've been really slack on the videos, so I feel like we have to get back on the video buzz, start vlogging, start showing you guys uh, exactly what we're up to and kind of what we've been doing. So this thing is running at the moment with the M50 B20 engine in it, fully turboed, running awesome, with a homemade manifold that I made myself, um, I'll give you guys a quick look at it. So this is the manifold as it sits. Um, so basically this is crazy. So what I did, I kind of had a look on the internet, um, could not find any kind of cheap-ish right-hand drive uh, turbo manifold. So basically they're made for the left-hand drive E36 that come out in uh, America uh, and all that. But um, here in Australia we have the right-hand drive E36, which means the steering column is um, directly in the way. So most of the manifolds you'll buy, um, they'll hit the steering column. I'm not rich, I'm not going to pay two and a half thousand dollars or whatever it is for a turbo manifold so I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to try and build one myself. So what I did was I flipped the factory manifold upside down, cut it up, welded some pipes on with a T3 flange and kind of hoped for the best. And this is what it looks like, so down here this is, the, this is all just the factory manifold, same with under here, all the factory manifold. I flipped them upside down because the flange works. Um, around that way. Then I just welded this pipe on, welded some pipe on here. Everything comes together. Here's the T3 flange where the turbo sits, just like that. Um, this is completely a track car, so I didn't really care too much about things. Um, I, cut, I had to come out, cut out some of the um, the rail here. I'm going to weld in some plates here, but for the meantime, it works perfectly. Um, like I said, this is a track car, so I didn't have to worry too much. Um, Sorry about my welding, This literally I just threw this whole thing together kind of to see if it would work. I've got the 38mm um, wastegate here, it's running a 7 pound uh, wastegate spring in it. Got the oil send line, so it's just coming from the oil uh, sensor feed back here with an adapter on it. Um, and honestly, this setup works so well, it's crazy. I've got a couple of videos I'll show you guys right now. As you can see, uh, yeah, it, it goes so good, it gives it an insane amount of power over the factory M50B20. Um, I'm super happy with it. Um, running a six part clutch and it was slipping that clutch in third gear, which is pretty awesome. And so yeah, like I said, it had a great amount of power. I'm running the stock ECU in this um, with just a fuel management unit right here. Um, so that unit uh, basically is a rising rate fuel pressure regulator but you can also adjust the rate at which the fuel pressure rises per pound of boost that you get so it can go right from one pound of fuel pressure per pound of boost right up to 14 pounds of fuel pressure for every pound of boost that's running. I'm also running some 21 pound injectors in the motor as well so stock ECU um, had no troubles last track day other than I ran it a little bit rich so I didn't blow the engine up. It ran awesome. Now I'm going to pull this engine out a friend of mine is selling his M52 B25 engine set up, really cheap so he sold that to me, he's going to put an LS in his E36. So what I'm going to do, I've ordered a brand new turbo manifold off eBay, it was like a hundred bucks uh, from the US. That's a left hand drive manifold, what I'm going to do is flip that upside down, so the flange will be at the front here because it's supposed to be a low mount manifold, and then it'll have the flange up top here, and what I'll do is I'm going to make a link pipe that comes over with the turbo sitting down here. Almost the exact same place it's sitting, but obviously the manifold that I've got, I've, I've bought will flow a lot better. And I'm going to walk you guys step by step through that turbo process. The best thing about the M52 engine as well is it's got the ECU, it's got uh, the MS41 Simmons ECU. is actually tunable, if you know what you're doing, so I do not, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've bought some cables that plug into the diagnostic port here, connect to my computer. I've got a uh, ROM Raider which is a software that you can use to tune the ECU and I'm going to go ahead and try and actually tune the ECU. The best thing about it is I've got no clue what I'm doing just like you guys hopefully maybe and so we can go through it step by step and you can kind of see what I'm doing and maybe you can do it on your setup too. But yeah, 
lots happening. Sorry for the delay on the videos. If you guys want to know any more info about this homemade uh, turbo manifold, please hit me up in the comments below. I'm happy to, t to pull it off and walk you guys through exactly how kind of I built that. But it's kind of a simple process, and if I can do it with no welding skills, um, then you can do it too. The, I just welded it up enough so that it doesn't leak. It actually runs so good, I was super surprised. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for any updates. I'm always posting about the car at It's Mike Lake. And just, yeah, hit me up if you've got any questions at all. Mad. Peace.